what is up you guys I'm at Bayfront Park it is my favorite getaway place to uh, just get some me time I go here on my off days just to relax keep back and unwind brought my Bible to get into the word a little bit look how gorgeous this is go in the water that's my favorite part I don't know if y'all can see this at all but straight across the bay but that's that's downtown Mobile like you can see the skyline over there it gets even prettier at night. I'll get, I'll make sure to get a sunshot, uh, sunshine, sunset video. I just want to speak on something real quick. This isn't going to be long. This is going to be pretty short. That I was just thinking on this past week, uh, reading some of you guys' messages and comments, and how, knowing how do you know, how do you know what's from God? What in your life is from God? What isn't? How do I, you know, the difference? Stuff like that, and. There's a certain characteristic that will define anything in your life, whether it is from God or not. And it's it's guaranteed. Because, um, see, the way I look at it is the world loves you just as Christ does. Not as much, but it loves you too. So the characteristic of something sent by God isn't that it loves you. Because sin loves you. But what sin does is it'll shake your hand and introduce itself but tell you goodbye just as fast. Sin's only there until you commit it and then it leaves you alone, lonelier than when you were before. See, God's love, it stays. It doesn't go anywhere. The characteristic of what is sent by God is that it never stops. It never stops pursuing you. God's love never stops pursuing you. So if you find that thing, that person in your life that has never stopped pursuing you, that right there is a good sign that it is from God and not of this world because things of this world don't do that. They leave you. They love you and just as fast as you love them back, they leave. I want to analyze this verse real fast. Acts 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. I want to tear, pick this verse apart because I feel like it makes a testament as to what is godly in your life, what is not. And that is, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So we as Christians, we believe we invite the Holy Spirit into us and that grants us power because now we are embedded in Christ. We are a part of Christ. So if that statement is true, then people you interact with in your daily life that have also done the same thing, that are also Christians, people of faith, who have accepted the Holy Spirit and granted them power. When those people are in your life, when you interact with them, do you feel it? Do you feel that power? Do you feel the Holy Spirit? Because see, what the enemy can't do, what sin can't do, is replicate that. The enemy can never replicate the power of the Holy Spirit and what you experience in your interactions with other people. If you interact with somebody and you feel that Holy Spirit in them, that power that they've been granted, and it meshes with yours, then that's of God. That's, of, that's something God has done. That is nothing that the world has done. The world might try to bring you down. The world might try to get you to turn away from that power that you've been granted. But the, the enemy cannot replicate that power of the Spirit. I also want to read you this quick note that I took before as well. Um, I put it in my phone earlier, actually today at church. But uh, we talked about how Jesus says, makes it very blatant and clear. Jesus says in the word, you were either against me or you were with me. There is no middle gray area. Well, I'm kind of with him, but I'm not against him. There is no middle area. Jesus says you were either with me or you were against me. There is no in the middle. There is no gray area. So I ask you, I pray for your answer, like, where are, are you against him? Are you against him? And now you can use that and ask other things in your life, both material and people, both. Is that for God or is that against God? Is that with Jesus or is that against Jesus? Is she with Jesus or is she against Jesus? Is he with Jesus or against Jesus? Is my life with Jesus or against Jesus? Very simply, very easy answer. <laughs> What's the answer to that question? Not just for yourself, but for each and everything and person that is in your life. 
and that'll tell you right there. Chances are you didn't even need this video. You didn't even need me prying these questions out of you. You already knew. You just haven't admitted it yet. You haven't accepted it. Well, let me be the one to call you out because that, con that conviction you feel on whatever that thing or person is, it's not me doing it. It's the Holy Spirit doing it. It's God telling you something needs to change. Something needs to be rewritten, redone. Something needs to be given up. Love you guys. This is my favorite place to be. This is where I hear God the best, right here on the ocean. Right, right at the waves. Um, I'm going to make sure to get a sunset video for y'all. Um, my friend Antonio is coming with his dog, and we're going to hang out a bit. I might get a few clips of that. We'll see. But um, anyways, if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. It helps me out so much, and I just all I want to do is reach more people and spread the word more and more and touch more lives. So if you want to help me in that, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to my channel. Please do me a huge favor and go check out the merchandise shop. Uh, it's going to be changing really soon. So if you want some OG apparel, original, that might be disappearing here soon, go ahead and check that out for me, please. I love you. God bless. And have a wonderful day. And cut nuts. Nuts, though. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you don't mind, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single video. And don't forget that you can catch me live every Wednesday night at midnight on the TikTok or here on YouTube. Thank you so much. God bless.